Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thrawn S live action visuals cause trouble on the Disney Plus Ahsoka show. Ahsoka S introduction of the legendary animated Star Wars villain Grand Admiral Thrawn presented some challenges for the Lucasfilm production team. Star Wars Celebration gave fans some long-awaited updates to Rosario Dawson S Ahsoka series, including an exciting confirmation of its live-action debut by Grand Admiral Thrawn at Disney. After being played by Lars Mikkelsen in the animated Star Wars Rebels, the actor was eventually announced to reprise his role as one of the main antagonists for Dawson S solo series. But even after fans got their first glimpse of the back of Thrawn's mind, in Ahsoka's first full trailer, his classic blue skin still remains hidden, leading many to wonder about the challenges of bringing this character to the small screen. When the blue is very strong, it almost leans in too far the animation back, so you have to find a blue that is complex, that has multiple layers, that has transparencies and has a blood and skin feel to it. Peel off the blue, Mary peel off the green, and they are soldiers. When you decide to do a show like this and characters like this, you sit in the makeup chair for two to three hours every day. That means they get there that much earlier than everyone else, so they can make phone calls. It has an obligation and makes their life a lot harder, and not a word of complaint. They re all vary into it and doing it and living it, and I am very grateful for that. Grand Admiral Thrawn's eventual appearance in live action has been a hot topic of discussion among fans since the Mandoverse began, especially considering his popularity in Star Wars Rebels. Now, especially with Lars Mikkelsen reclaiming the mantle in live action. Dave Filoni and crew were vigilant to ensure his blue antagonist was brought to screen as accurately as possible. Fans were already seeing the impact of this vigilance with color, thanks to the first look at Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Harrison Della, which looked like a virtual copy of what the character